I'll try to speak up if you listen up. I'm concerned about a certain problem in the Hare Krishna movement. It's an ongoing problem. I'm sure many of you have noticed the problem. And it's a problem of priority. The things which have been prioritized in our movement have led the thrust of the movement away from the actual focus that should be there. I'm happy to see and I'm happy to hear about devotees in more recent times, in the last couple of years especially, becoming more focused on Nam Samkirtan. But you should know, you may know, you may have observed, that especially since the demise of our beloved founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada, Nam Samkirtan has been very much sidelined, marginalized. And I don't want to blame anyone, but the fact of the matter is that Mahamantra Nam Samkirtan is not going out on the streets in the major cities all over the world on a daily basis the way it used to be, the way we used to go out when Srila Prabhupada was present. Why? There's a lack of faith in the execution of the Yuga Dharma. There's a lack of faith in the actual process of self-realization, the most viable means for becoming self-realized. The focus is less on self-realization and more on social development. (coughs) Money makes the world go round. So if something doesn't appear to be making much money, then not much stress is placed on the thing. It's just as simple as that. Nam Samkirtan, for most pragmatic managers, doesn't seem to be very financially viable. It doesn't appear to be the thing which solves the Tupati problems. The army runs on the belly, but what the hell are we running the army for if we're not going out and performing the Yuga Dharma? Have you noticed this? Am I speaking something which is an easily observable phenomena? I think that any intelligent person in our movement who is a little aware of our Siddhanta and aware of the process by which we can realize the goal of the philosophy as ordained and advocated by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all of his associates and all the Acharyas coming down in disciplic succession, including Srila Prabhupada. Anyone who's a little awake to the reality of what we're really supposed to be all about has to admit that we're not focusing on the Yuga Dharma the way we should be. Everything else takes precedence. Everything else becomes the priority. And as such, everything else becomes Samkirtan. Everything else is part and parcel of the Samkirtan movement. Therefore, it is deemed as, you know, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Therefore, anything which is part and parcel of the Samkirtan movement becomes Samkirtan. But Samkirtan is not good enough because it doesn't make the money, isn't it? Samkirtan doesn't bring home the cash. So, therefore, it's not very important. Everything else becomes important. After Srila Prabhupada left, book distribution became known as Samkirtan. But then people stopped going out on book distribution in most places all over the world. Because book distribution also wasn't bringing in so much money. It was more profitable to buy some culled Karmi records at 10 cents a pop and sell them for five bucks. It became more profitable, you know, to meet our temple overheads, to sell carved candles, to sell Hong Kong paintings, to sell stickers. So it became Karmi Record Samkirtan. It became carved candle Samkirtan. It became incense Samkirtan. It became sticker Samkirtan. Everything else was Samkirtan, but Samkirtan became, oh, that's just Hari Nam, as if Hari Nam was of little importance in the Hare Krishna Samkirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So my humble request, and I'm sure all of you can appreciate this at least on one level or another to some extent, we need a revolution in this movement. And if we're not going to get a revolution in this movement, if the movement is not going to support the revolution, the Samkirtan revolution, 
Nam Samkirtan has to be put back in the forefront of this movement. Nam Samkirtan has to regain its place of dignity in the Samkirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya. No more of this sideline business. Please bring Samkirtan back to where it's supposed to be, the level that it's supposed to be. Srila Prabhupada sent a letter to us in 1974 in Washington, D.C., praising us and saying how he was so pleased with our 14-hour Samkirtan dates. 14 hours going out on the street, practically every day we were going out for 14 hours. In New York City, there was no less than 40 to 50 devotees going out every day on the streets, chanting and dancing. That's how Hare Krishna became a household word all over the world. Because in most major cities all over the world, we were going out every day. In Washington, D.C., we were considered a small temple. We had only 19 or 20 devotees in the temple, but there was at least 18 of us going out on the Harinam Samkirtan party and distributing Prabhupada's books side by side. Grihastas, Brahmacharis, Sannyasis, everyone. We were all going out together, performing Nam Samkirtan. In New York on weekends, Friday and Saturday both, 250 devotees going out on the street for several hours in the evening. Three or four hours, our weekend Maha Harinam Samkirtan parties. 250 devotees. We would divide the party in half. 125 going up one side of Broadway. 125 going up the other side of Broadway. And we would converge at least 20 Murdungas reverberating between those skyscrapers. It was outrageous sound. And it made a heavy impact on the public. So we need Samkirtan resurgence. Nam Samkirtan resurgence in our movement. And for that, there may be necessity to organize a coalition of devotees who are willing to dedicate their human form of life directly to the performance of the Yuga Dharma for the purpose of getting prema and helping to turn back the tide of Kali Yuga, which is rampant. The demoniac corporate elite of this world are not slowing down or stopping and waiting for the Krishna consciousness movement to wake up to its responsibility to beseech the holy name, to descend from Golok Dham, to Vinachaya Chaduskritam, Puritraya Sadhanam, Dharma Samstarpanataya. What Dharma? Kali Yuga Dharma, Harinam Samkirtan. That Dharma. Dharma Siglani means the waning of Dharma. Golokara Prema Dhan, Harinam Samkirtan. Nam Samkirtan is descending from Golok for the purpose of spreading prema, prema dharma, that dharma. How? By the most viable process in Kali Yuga. And that is the Yuga Dharma, Nam Samkirtan. So I'm just, by way of encouragement, I'm begging all of you to please help, help in this endeavor to bring back Nam Samkirtan to its proper place of dignity in the forefront of the Krishna consciousness movement. If we don't do it, if we don't step forward and become instruments in the hands of the predecessor Acharyas, don't think that it's not going to be done. Nam Samkirtan will come up, definitely, because it is the will of Lord Chaitanya. If we don't do it, someone will do it, with or without the Krishna consciousness movement. We need grassroots revolution. That means you and me. I'm part of the grassroots. I'm not part of the managerial elite of this movement. For years and years and years, at least 21 years, I've personally been here trying to somehow or other bring it to the attention of the lay devotees because I don't expect the managerial elite of this movement to take it very seriously because it don't make no money. You understand? Money's the honey. They're not going to prioritize Nam Samkirtan. But Nam Samkirtan will come back, I guarantee it, with the cooperation of a few good people who are willing to step forward in their various localities all over the world and help to generate that faith, that consciousness in the holy name. So please help wherever you may go and do the real thing to actually implement the Yuga Dharma, there needs to be purity. 
And purity begins, human life begins, with following the four regulative principles so that we can have the potency, the power to do the real thing for the pleasure of Lord Chaitanya is very important.